In this video, we're going to look at opcode and operands. Here, we have a very basic 8-bit instruction. Normally, they are 64 bits. In this instruction, the first 4 bits are known as opcode. Then, the remaining bits are our operand. Let's see what we mean by these now. So opcode is just short for operation code. This informs the control unit on what we need to do. So the actual instruction or tasks that are to be carried out. As mentioned before, the remaining bits are the operand. This tells the control unit what we need to perform the instructions on. Often the operand contains either some data for the instructions to be formed on, or it contains an address for where the data can be found. Often in exams, you may be asked about how many possible instructions could be generated from the opcode. All you need to do is count how many bits make up that opcode and do two to the power of that number of bits. And the same applies for the operand as well. And that's everything you need to know about the opcode and operand.